So when it comes to liver cirrhosis and the patient is fluid overloaded, your Lasix in this situation is going to be spironolactone. Now the other important thing, when you want to treat a patient with liver cirrhosis and fluid overload with ascites and whatnot, who's causing the problem? Who's the culprit? Who's our enemy? Aldosterone is the enemy because it's reabsorbing sodium and water. So if you want to take down the enemy, what drug do you want to start your patient on? Spironolactone. So when it comes to liver cirrhosis and the patient is fluid overloaded, your Lasix in this situation is going to be spironolactone. The liver spironolactone is the way to go. The only reason you give furosemide with spironolactone is not for the diuretic effect. It is just to make sure the patient does not become hyperkalemic. So you will always combine your spironolactone with your furosemide. Now, important thing, you must always maintain a very good ratio. And the ratio must always be 100 of spironolactone to 40 of furosemide. And you never ever are going to give them IV Lasix.